I'm very objective and I don't have inherent conflict of in conflicts of interest because I don't have clients that I deal with as a principal or an agent. Um, I can step on toes and be objective, objective and uh, offensively honest. Thing is worth a man's life. Right. But if a man tests my style, 
I promise he won't like my reply. Boom, bye, bye, like Buju. I'm too sure I'm a Brooklyn boy. I may take some getting used to. Chain snatching, ain't have it, gotta get it. Same shit in from Brownsville to Brain British. Fatherless child, mama put double shit. So the number runners was the only one to hang with it. Before you know it, I'm in the game, bang, fit it. Sitting no on orangutans, pity old kid apps like oranges is I'm dangerous. See, tell me what the name of this shit. Brooklyn dodge of them, I jack, I rob, I sin, oh man, I'm Jackie Robinson, except when I run base, I dodge the pen, lucky me, lucky Lee, they didn't get me, now when I bring the nets, I'm the Black Branch Ricky, from Brooklyn Corners, burning branches are sticky, spread love, biggie, Brooklyn, hippie, I pity, the fool with jewels like Mr. T, with no history in my barrow, they borrow. People are rioting again on the streets of Greece. More than 100,000 people reportedly took to the streets today to protest budget cuts. Look at this video, though, to see what it actually looks like. So you can see that this is violent. Uh, that guy was on fire, literally. You can see him running by on fire. So this is what is going on on the streets of Greece today. Also, Spain was downgraded two notches. Moody's is hinting that France's credit rating may be at risk. A German bond auction failed. Europe banned credit default swap trading and hopes that the European Union summit this weekend will deliver a plan to tackle the debt crisis and fears of contagion, of course, have certainly not been realized yet. So it appears the Eurozone debt crisis is nowhere near out of the woods. And with some of Europe's biggest banks on the line, could we be heading towards a banking crisis? And could contagion ripple across the U.S.? That is the big question. Meanwhile, there are plenty of signs that U.S. banks, bailed out by taxpayers in Washington three years ago, aren't doing so hot anyway, from accounting gimmicks to risky assets. Could some U.S. banks still be teetering too close to the edge, regardless of Europe? Here to help us figure all of this out is Reggie Middleton. He's an investor and analyst. He also writes at boombustblog.com. He called the housing crash. He called the collapse of Bear Stearns and Lehman Brothers. He's been harping on the crisis in the Eurozone banking system for years now, so he's just the guy to talk to. He joins us from New York. Oh, we Thanks keep for hearing being here, Reggie. New hopes. Uh, new excitement that a big plan will be hatched to save the Eurozone debt crisis. That crisis hasn't been resolved as of yet. So our question is, are we going to see a Lehman-type moment with European banks? Well, we're probably going to see a Lehman times four moment. Uh, Lehman was one bank relatively small. Uh, the European banks have the same essential problem that Lehman Brothers does. Um, or did. It's just that there are so many of them. Uh, they're all teetering on the brink. And to be absolutely honest, the only solution to the problem is the politically uh, infeasible, un unfeasible solution, and that's debt destruction. The only, way, the only way for things to move forward is for the debt to be destroyed and for those who own the debt uh, to take significant losses. The problem is if you do that, you destroy the banks who carry the debt on a leveraged basis on their balance sheet. And that's basically the only way out of it. Uh, what I've been seeing in the media are basically game playing and uh, political. Uh, politics run amok, um, trying to use more debt to solve an indebted situation, um, trying to use financial engineering to solve a problem that was caused by financial engineering. Uh, the only way out of this is for the debt to be destroyed. And if the debt is destroyed, the banks are carrying a leverage basis, the banks have to go bust. So, um, it's going so to cost everybody to the United States. Go ahead. I, I want to get to all of that, but I want to talk. You're saying this is going to be Lehman times four. You say the actual solution is politically totally infeasible. So 
where do we see this start, where do banks start to go down, and when do we see this start to happen? I think uh, if you pay close attention, you've probably seen it already, you've had an implicit run on the French banks. Uh, there are a lot of institutional counterparties who've been pulling uh, support out of the French banks. They've already pulled uh, liquidity out of the Greek banks. Uh, and the German banks are now suspects, such as Deutsche Bank. Um, you're also seeing it in the United States as well. Uh, United States banks, U.S. banks, have written uh, the vast majority of the credit default swaps against Europe, and the counterparties against these credit default swaps see that the banks who actually wrote the uh, um, other side of the contract just aren't solvent. So what they requested was to have the credit default swaps and other derivatives moved from the risky part of the bank into the depositors part of the bank, the FDIC, the FDIC insured portion of the banks. So what you have essentially is the taxpayer um, unwittingly backstopping all the CDS that was written against the European banks. Of course, they're not aware of it, so next time you go and put a check into your savings account, realize that you are probably funding uh, a risky CDS bet against the insolvent European banks. So you're saying um, you're you're saying that US taxpayers are on the line for CDS's insurance against a Europe banking system or a Europe bank failure against the Euro, eurozone debt crisis. So what happens to that US taxpayer if this all collapses? What is interesting? Uh, the bank uh, the Bank of America uh, Bank of America Lynch countrywide um, transferred I think over $50 trillion of notional derivatives into their deposit um, holding bank institution. If I'm not mistaken, the derivative counterparties get first grabs of that. So the depositors actually are second in line to the derivative counterparties, as I understand it. So they have a problem um, because of things that ought to go awry, and they definitely are because the CDS were written um, against what I consider insolvent institutions. The depositors are actually going to have to clamor for second place after the, the derivative counterparties get first. So, um, so you you're saying, let me, I just want to clarify. So you're saying that taxpayers okay. are not first to get paid back, that in, investors in these derivatives are first to get paid back. Exactly, as I understand it. Um, now, the FDI, if I would think that regulators should be saying, hell no, basically, absolutely not. But um, now all the regulators are saying it. Actually, from my understanding, um, Dr. Bernanke at the Federal Reserve is in favor of this to take pressure off of the bank holding company, while the FDIC, which is the entity that's actually going to have to pay um, to ensure the depositors, is against it. Uh, this is uh, a raping of the taxpayer from my perspective, of course, is my opinion. But my opinions are strong if you follow the blog. Um, very few taxpayers, when they opened up their checking or savings account or put money in a CD, um, anticipated that they'd be backstopping uh, derivative transactions in the form of credit default swaps against European banks who leveraged up against Greek bonds, despite the fact that wow. particular country has defaulted I several times. I bet most in the US past. taxpayers do not realize they are second in line once again to investors.
the name of this shit. the pen lucky me lucky me did it and get me now when i bring the net some the black branch ricky this is your first public statement in that 90 day period it's the hardest time i've opened up my mouth in 90 days that's why i'm talking so fast and so hot <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you feel however that uh, that we're making progress in in this country no and no 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 uh, i will never say that progress is being made if you stick a knife in my back nine inches and pull it out six inches there's no progress you pull it all the way out that's not progress the progress is healing the wound that the blow that the blow made, and they haven't even begun to pull a knife out, much less try and pull, uh, heal the wound. You have, have you have? They won't even admit the knife is there. <laughs> Morning. 